Alright, I hate to film this intro with only one lash on. I'm waiting for this glue to get tacky so I can stick it on, but I'm in a huge rush and I'm gonna like run away as soon as I'm ready. So, um, highly requested, finally, and I'm so sorry that it took me forever, but nose contour video is here. And so is this makeup look. So, um, I filmed my makeup look today, but I'm breaking it up into two videos, a nose contour video as well as like a full makeup look. So hope you guys really love it. Thanks for requesting it and please subscribe, please, please, please. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so nose contour. Um, hi guys. This makeup is in progress. <laughs> I'm just um, stopping that other tutorial to do a dedicated nose video and then I'm gonna go back and finish that look. So this is two videos. The purpose of this video, let's just do a nose contour and only a nose contour. You guys have seen this in like every video, but it, it keeps getting requested. So I think you guys just wanna see it alone, which I totally understand. So this is how I contour my nose. A lot of people think I got a nose job just because of the way I've been contouring lately. It's just bomb.com. Um, I always liked my, my nose. I always thought I had a cute, small nose. It's hard to contour though, for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like I have a wide bridge, but it's kind of, I don't know, I can't explain it, whatever. But it does dip this way. So I do have a deviated septum in my nose and yeah, I go like this, you can see the dip right here. And then also, I think everyone has it. It's like a diamond shape right here. So it's kind of wide right here. Then it gets skinny, but it's over to the side. And yeah, and then also I don't really have a strong brow bone. So I made a lot of mistakes along the way on contouring my nose. And now I think I finally figured out. So one thing I don't do is I don't contour all the way up. It just makes me look very like, it doesn't look cute. And then um, I don't cream contour, period. I do not cream contour my nose. That's when it just looks like bumpy. I don't know, it just does not look good. So I powder contour, but what I always do, and this has been the game changer for me, I don't know how I realized it, but I reverse contour first, then I do a powder contour, and then I put my reverse contour back on to bake. And that has been like the key to success. So I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Blondie, as well as my Morphe 360 uh, nose contour brushes. You can use coupon code Irene for a discount. It's a set of three brushes, but I'm only gonna use two. So yeah, let's just go ahead and reverse contour like so. And um, I've tried this with a few different powders, and for me, this Huda powder has been the best. It's the best color for me and also the best texture. If you've tried her Easy Bake powders, they're very, very silky. And they don't look ashy. So, yeah. This has been the move. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat it on. Try to not swipe. I think patting is the best. I still don't know what I should be doing for the tip of my nose. If I should be putting a dark color under here to shorten it or if I should just connect. What I usually do is connect. I don't know if that's the right move, but that's what I've been doing. So let's just do it. Okay. And then for my powder contour, for me, it has to be something that isn't too dark, <laughs> isn't too pigmented and definitely not anything that has a lot of fallout. Fallout. So I like Hoola, Benefit Hoola. I like Laura Mercier uh, number one Soleil bronzer. And that's actually what I use most of the time. So here we go. The Laura Mercier Soleil number one bronzer. And I'm gonna go in with this other brush from the Morphe 360 Nose Contour Collection. Tap off really good, really well, sorry. And then I only do contour lines like half halfway and since I have the dip right here I try to skip that spot so I'm gonna do right here on the diamond right here on the tip and then we'll assess what to do with that dip later I'm not gonna mess with that right now because that's how I get like that bumpy look someone had the audacity to say, to say I have a long bumpy nose like don't be crazy don't just make up stuff because you don't like me. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Okay, so right here on the diamond. I don't have a dip here, so I am just gonna pull it all the way down to the tip. I hope I'm like doing it well. You know, sometimes when you're trying to like explain something, you like get extra with it. But I think I'm okay. Yeah, I don't have the skinniest bridge or like tallest bridge. Not that my nose is like tiny. I don't know. I can't really explain it. I like my nose though. Don't think like I don't like it. But nose contouring is a thing right now. It doesn't come out of self-loathing. I just think it looks really cute when it's contoured. And I love the little highlight. Even though I think um, the nose tip highlight is such a polarizing topic. Probably thanks to Wayne Goss, who I love. Okay, so now that my contour lines are on, I'm going to go back and bake it again. I'm not going to highlight until the very end. I don't go in with like a concealer and draw a line down the way a lot of girls do. Like I wish I could do like a super, super duper snatch nose, but it just, it doesn't look right when I do it. Like it looks too artificial. You can, especially in daylight. Oh my God. But when it's like this, it looks pretty natural. I mean, of course it still looks contoured, but it doesn't look ridiculous and it photographs really well. All right, I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll come back when it's time to brush this away. Let's finish up my nosy nosy. So I I'm wearing pink highlight on my cheeks, but I'm gonna go in with a gold on my nose. I don't like going in with like pink on my nose. So I'm gonna go in with the center one. Of course you can use anything. It's not that you have to buy this expensive ass palette. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush like this. I usually use my fingertip, but I don't know why I'm feeling a little clumsy right now. So I'm just gonna use a little brush. And I will blend it out with my finger, but okay. So right where the light hits, like right there, you can tap it. If you wanna make your nose look a little shorter, you can put it just a little higher. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I don't highlight all the way up. I don't even do that contour line across like a lot of, um, a lot of people do. And that's just because I didn't, It's not like I highlighted so intense, you know? So I'm just gonna take my finger, yeah, I don't like using a brush, my fingertip, and I'm just going to just do it right here. Not my whole bridge, so like, yeah, just like that. Oh my goodness, okay, all right. Once that's on, we're gonna start buffing away this reverse contour. I, I take the, the powder and I kind of brush it away towards the center. And that's just to diffuse that line even more, just so the highlight and the contour lines. I don't like them to be too harsh. So I'm just gonna hook it in and then kind of down, up, and then down. Then grab like your favorite set setting powder that like has some color to it, whether it's the color of your foundation or whatever. And you're just gonna make that bleed. Cause you know, it's so stark bright here and then there's a contour line. So there has to be some kind of blending. There you have it. I think that looks good. <laughs> you know, when you're trying to explain something, you have no idea like what you're even talking about or looking at anymore, but when you do it just regular, it, like it just comes to you. Intuition takes over, I guess. Yeah, I take back what I said about using a, um, a brush there. I, I like how it looks much better. With my fingertip. It just kind of like melts into the skin better.